uh, honestly, our um, idea was always to stop at five. Um, and it was only meant to do one. <laughs> <laughs> After five amazing years, we've decided to pass the baton over to the great British public. Um, and yeah, we're, we're not going for Christmas number one this year. We never expected it to be five, I'll be totally honest. It was one of those things that just, that just happened over the years and it was beautiful and it was amazing that the public got behind us, uh, you know, in the way that they did. You know, five years ago when, when we started this, we knew the importance of, uh, of food banks in this country and we wanted to raise uh, funds and awareness for that. Uh, honestly, our idea was always to stop at five. Um, and it was only meant to do one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And so, so now, you know, we're excited to see what's coming next. You know, the legacy for us is we want charity songs to, to dominate every Christmas. We want, the, the, we want, you know, I want the top 20 to be charity songs, good causes, people having fun, because I feel like that's, that's what Christmas is. It's time of family and it's time for giving. So, yeah, I'm excited this year. I'm excited to see who's, who's going to be going for it. I mean, we're only four years away from a 10-year Lad Baby anniversary, aren't we? So, <laughs> you never know. I'm not saying we're never doing a song again. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're not doing one this year. But Mariah, if, Mariah, <laughs> if you ever want, want a, you know, a Lad Baby, all I want for Christmas is sausage rolls. We're ready and welcome. I've heard about the cat. The cat, yeah, I've heard the cat, the station cat. I, I, I was reading about the cat yesterday. I love the cat. I want the cat to be number one. I think it's amazing. <laughs> if, if we can get a Christmas number one, then anyone can. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's what, what's, what's been so lovely. And so, as I say, I, I want charity songs to go for Christmas number one this year. I want to see absolutely every charity. There's so many charities that, that deserve that spotlight. And we yeah. know from when we started this, to, to, to last year, that level of exposure for a charity is, is, is unbelievable, it's unmatched. And, and that's so, why it's good to stop at five and to go, charity, stand up, go for it. Because the amount of eyes they get on them, the amount, we meet the people's lives, that it changes. Um, and it's really important for charities to do that, especially this year. We're, we're always in touch with, uh, with, with Ed, he invited us to um, his show, which was last year, because he's over in the States at the minute. Um, and yeah, I'm always messaging him asking, are you doing a song this year? Are you doing a Christmas number <laughs> one? Let me hear it. Um, but no, it's, it's... They're it's, such lovely guys. For them to dedicate their time, spend time in the studio to do that. And Elton did ring the house. Well, he rung Mark's phone when he was in the car park once. <laughs> um, and that was amazing. He's lovely and he was just like, amazing what you've done. Congratulations. So that was really lovely. They're good people. It's, it's quite a moment when you're, yeah, you've just come out of Sainsbury's doing your Christmas shopping and you get a phone <laughs> call from Elton John. It's, it's, it's a beautiful moment. Um, and yeah, it's moments like that that we'll, we'll remember for the rest of our life because yeah, it's not every day those things happen. Recently the government has put uh, homelessness and lost people at the forefront and they've uh, announced a strategy. Do you feel like the government is doing enough? How do you feel about the they're not doing enough. Mm. Clearly they're not. There's 14 million people living in poverty and, and more needs to be done. Unfortunately, the only government that can make a difference is the one in power. And that's why they have to make a difference to, to so many people that are struggling. It's, it's not right. Yeah. I mean, just this Christmas, the Trust of Trust are expecting to give out uh, a million, one million emergency food parcels between December and February. And there's only so, there's only so long that me and Mark, I mean, our campaign's over five years. There's only so much we can do, like the government do need to step in. We, we don't have the power, the big power to change that. So I would say they just need to definitely try and do sort something it about it. There are families who need, who need help. You've done books, music, YouTube, what is next for that baby? Oh, I don't know. What is maybe, next? Maybe, what is possible? I don't know. Maybe a sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, who knows?